Good morning. Um, today is Saturday. It is 12, well, it's 11.45. Um, I have a meeting with someone who is going to be making the decorations for the wedding. Um, she's a really good uh, friend and co-worker of Ian's at, you know, their job and she just recently started her business, her decorating business, and I love the, the fact that she does things with love. The thing, She did her own wedding recently and it was beautiful, and so she was kind enough to offer to do our wedding, and I, at first, I was like, mm, I'm not going to, I'm going to, at first I was like, I'm gonna, just going to DIY everything myself. I'm just gonna do everything myself. I'm just gonna go to the stores and I'm gonna I'm just gonna go to the stores and I'm gonna buy everything myself everything that I need and then I'll DIY it and have some family help me listen I Don't think that's smart unless you are a very crafty person and you have that time on your hands And it's something that you really want to do you want everything very special, you know made from you for your wedding but I don't really care much about that and I really don't have the time I don't I'm trying to do a lot of other things at the same time and I just I rather give it to somebody give that job to somebody who number one is trying is that's really their talent and that's really what they love doing number two they're either trying to make a business and I would love to be a part of that and you know be able to help them and so you know I just I can't I don't have that time at first I was like, oh, I want everything to be special, made from me or made from us. I really don't care anymore, to be honest. And I think it'll still be special because I am putting that trust into somebody um, and that talent, that you know, somebody who has that talent. So why am I gonna try and act like I can DIY stuff and be all crafty and you know it's gonna be I knew I know it's gonna be a hassle going to the stores to buy and find the things that I need it's too much because I'm thinking about all the, all the other things and I want everything to be done with quality so I definitely rather hire somebody to do that I love supporting small businesses people who have talents and are trying to do things with their talents and their passions I love helping people that are trying to do things with their talents and passions and trying to make a living out of that. So I would love to be a part of that, about, of, you know, of her journey as well. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to sit there at Starbucks. All meetings are at Starbucks. I find that so funny. My photographer meeting was at Starbucks. Because, you know, it's just the best place. So we're going to talk about, she basically already has an idea of what I want because I shared a lot of Pinterest pictures with her but it's just you know it's not the same talking about it in person and there's things might come up that we never that I never thought of and also I haven't met her in person yet so I'm gonna go do that I decided I'm not gonna be running a lot I'm, my workouts are basically going to be you know more of like different kinds of exercises and not really running you know maybe like jogs here and there and walking not running though because I don't want to I'm gonna I don't want to get skinny you know I don't have a lot of fat I'm working out to just stay active um, work on my cardio because I don't know if I said this before but I have like really bad knees and I think it, it was due to a lot of over stretching when I used to do dance so you know what I have in my knees it makes it hard to do cardio and run without getting you know going out of breath I'm feeling out of breath right away so um, I did therapy and everything and they said that I was fit enough to just you know start working out again and it doesn't really matter so that's really why but I want to find other ways to do cardio and all that without really running I just I just my my fitness goals is to eat 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 and have you know you know never I, I don't want to get on I don't want to get on a diet or anything like that I'm what I mean by eating healthier is just basically what I've been doing you know but just being a little bit more strict with it and so and then I just want to do some workouts because I got to get this booty up this booty is sagging on me it's sagging it's sagging okay so I need to get that booty up I want a tighter flat stomach 
I want some a little, you know, toned arms. Just want to be a little bit more fit. Okay, is that much? That too much to ask for? All right. I don't really have to be specific. Okay, I don't have to be a bodybuilder. Okay. Some people think that you know, if you're gonna start working out, you gotta get muscle. You gotta get this. You gotta get that. You gotta do weights. You gotta, no, you don't. Okay. Let me work out how I wanna work out. All right. And if it makes me feel good, it makes me feel good. So shut up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And then after that, I'm going to come back home and do all my cleaning. Um, I, I, did, I did laundry. I just have to fold it. And then got to do some cleaning, planning, because tomorrow is when I start doing all my videos. dying holy mackerel holy we'll talk in a bit when i'm cooled down because it is way too hot right now guys it's way too hot to even live right now so i just finished the meeting with our decorator and she's such a sweetheart i'm so excited to work with her and so it was way better to just really sit there and talk in person about all the details. Obviously, we are we have a we have a meeting, an appointment to go to the venue together. Um, that's where I'm going to talk to the florist as well, and as and bring her, um, our decorator Brittany. I'm going to bring her to with us so that she sees also the way that the venue is set up, all the little corners of where we can decorate what we talked about and I'm really keeping it very simple it's in a garden so we don't really need much it's just it's a very simple decor it's of course Italian like I've said before so yes we need we talked about those little details to make sure that we have that theme but other than that it's really simple and I'm excited because she's also like me she wants to keep it very practical weddings are five hours or less or a little bit more but they're just a couple of hours and you know you have to make sure that you do have good quality you have a good quality wedding everything is done um, with love and not just any like any crappy but you can't stress too much about it because again it is just a little bit of time and after that you catch yourself trying to clean up and finish up so put a lot more thought into your relationship than worrying too much about, you know, worrying about having the perfect wedding. I try to keep it simple because it's not about the wedding. It's about me and Ian. It's not about the colors. It's not about that. It's about the love and the life commitment that we're going to make. So it's going to be elegant and beautiful, but also simple and very raw. If I could, is that what that means? I don't know. But anyways, I'm on my way. I, I just spend a bunch of hours outside right now. I don't think I want to go back out to the park anytime soon. So I want to wait till like 5 when the sun's going down. But you know, here in Florida, it's always up. It could be 5 in the morning. Like when I always wake up is at 5 in the morning. And it's still, you can't even breathe. So we'll see. But it was a very successful meeting. I'm so excited. What is this guy doing? What, 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 what is this guy doing? I can't, I really can't, I can't, I can't deal. I can't deal. Don't how to don't know how to drive. They just don't know how. I'd be like, okay, I have to. I have too much of a headache right now. I'm gonna put these glasses on. Woo! All right, guys. I'll see you later. If you shop at Walmart, no shade. But yo, what is this? This is like murder. 
This is murdering your children. <laughs> I can't. And I'm just trying to find organic stuff here and I can't. I just can't. Like, no shade to people who shop at Walmart, but golly, they do not want it. They don't want you to eat healthy here at Walmart. Mm -mm. Nope. They do not want you to eat healthy. I only came here because my sister needed to um, duplicate her key. And so I was like, you know what? I need something, but I can't find it. I can't find my coffee with almond milk. I can't. I can't. This is why I never come here. No shade, but like... can't find at Walmart mm -mm. I said after my meeting I'm going to go and be active go and you know enjoy nature it started storming like crazy so couldn't do that did some errands with my sister whatever and then I drop her off and then I'm on my way home and since I'm drinking a lot of water let me show you how much water I'm starting to drink so I'm trying to drink one of these like four times a day. So four of these a day. And never again am I going to drink that this much water when I'm on the road or where there's no bathroom to be found, nowhere near. Because it was pouring. I was on my way to the bank and then home. I was on the same street from where I lived, but it was still a lot of traffic. I was... I, I, could, I, I couldn't hold it, I had to pee. And then I try to go into Publix and it's pouring. And then there's no umbrella in my car. So I, oh, and I also have sandals that I will slip and fall and bust my butt if I walk in them, especially in the rain. Thank God I had some sneakers in my car. So I put on the sneakers, I go into Publix, I pee, and I come back out. But it wasn't easy. Like, ugh. I Snapchatted and put it on Instagram stories, my whole situation. So if you want to see my little crazy moments, you got to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because that's the only way, you know? I'll talk to you about stuff on the vlogs, but you won't really see the juice unless you follow me on those social networks. So I'll put them right here. So basically my actual plans for the day are kind of different. I planned on, you know, going outside around like around four, coming back home like at five and then cleaning. But it's already, what time? 8.11. I'm gonna clean a little bit. I don't like cleaning like in the mornings, I rather clean or like during the day, I like cleaning at night just because I don't, I don't like clean. I don't want cleaning to take up my day. So when I'm already at home, that's when I like to do it. So I've already done laundry. I'm going to do a little bit of that, finish up folding, do some cleaning and then start planning. I might do a video today so that it's like, um, one video less that I have to do tomorrow. So I might do that, but yeah. Y'all are spending my night with me, so. Let me go change real quick. I hope that worked because I've always wanted to do that.
towels for the toilet because, you know, sanitary purposes. <laughs> Bathroom. Sometimes I come in here, but this is basically Ian's bathroom and my bathroom is the other one because, you know, for specific reasons, you know, men want to take forever in the bathroom. Sometimes I use this one and I brought my shampoo and conditioner in here. Then Ian, the next day that he came in to shower, he was about to use these as body wash. So these are definitely going into my bathroom. All right, so I'm going to go and do my bathroom. The other room and then i will see y'all later because i'm not gonna bore you guys with my cleaning so <sighs> okay so i just finished cleaning the whole apartment and now I'm going to take this makeup off my face, shower, and then I'm going to edit this vlog, which will be up tomorrow, Sunday. So my schedule is going to change. The videos is going to change. It's going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays because like I said earlier, I am just trying to experiment and I want my, my videos to be to have better quality. I want them to be a little bit more entertaining. I just want to do any, everything that I can to make them better videos. So that means I need to kind of have more time that for that to do that and to work on them. So I'm gonna have to do only three videos a week. But I also wanna work on a blog, which I started, but I haven't really made public yet. Um, I want to make a Pinterest. So there's a lot of things, because with a lot of research, I've done a lot of research, comes a lot of experimenting. And with a lot of experimenting comes improvement. So I really wanna improve you know, I want to improve my channel in a way that will help you guys the best. I want, that's my goal, to help you guys the best, to make a channel, make my channel a place where you guys can come and feel comfortable, feel like you're getting educated, um, getting good advice and inspired. So I always just want to improve. So stay with me guys, hang in there with me until I figure it all out, but I'm pretty sure this Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday schedule will be way better for me, for my channel, and for you guys. So, we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I do inspirational advice and lifestyle videos every week. And then as well as follow my social so that you are watching my snaps and my Instagram stories, my day-to-day -day life. There's a lot, of the, a lot of things that I put out there that I don't put out on the vlogs. So go and follow me on those. Everything is in the description down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.